Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain segmentation in memory management in operating system. So before segmentation, uh, we have seen paging technique. So in paging, user's view of memory is not same as actual memory. You might read this uh, line in your book as well. So what's the meaning of this line? What users think when we execute any program, what we think that program will be loaded in memory somewhere and library required by that program will be loaded in memory somewhere. So uh, these modules are loaded in memory all together. So this is the user's perception. But what actually paging does? Paging will divide our program into uh, a fixed length of pages and this memory also divided into similar length frames one page can be loaded in any frame so user is thinking main program is loaded in memory altogether library is loaded in memory altogether and stack area used for stack is uh, in uh, loaded in memory altogether but in actual what paging is doing paging is dividing this main program into multiple pages and that page can be stored in any frame so let's say this main program divided into two frame as uh, sorry two pages one page is stored in this frame another page is stored here and similar for library and for the stack so if you can see this is the user's view we are thinking our entire program is loaded in memory app at one place but in actual that program is loaded in memory at different different place so paging actually separate users view from the actual memory so here comes the role of segmentation segmentation actually support this view so segmentation says that uh, modules loaded in memory at one place like library is loaded here stack loaded somewhere here here all together and program is loaded here so this one is actually supporting the user's view. User is not concerned with whether the program is loaded in memory before library or after stack. User just having an idea that our entire program is loaded in memory at one place altogether. So segmentation actually following this approach. Now the thing is that how a element in segmentation is going to be addressed. How addresses are generated, how those addresses are converted into physical addresses so every segment actually having a name now in this segment if I want to access any particular byte so what we need to give we need to give the name of this segment that I want to access library segment and in this segment we have to specify offset like which byte I want to access second byte third byte fourth byte or fifth byte so two information I have to provide segment name and offset but for simplicity instead of taking name number is assigned for every segment so these information actually stored in the table segment number what is the number of segment what is the base address like what is the starting address in physical memory for that segment and what is the size what is the length of that segment so if we look at the library segment let's say number one assigned to this segment the starting address if you can see this is the two and the length of this library one two three four five six six byte these information will be stored in table so let's have a look on this one so we are having here three segments these segments are having some information like a b c d and this is actually specifying the offset like this is the first byte this is the second uh, second third byte fourth byte fifth byte sixth byte so in every segment uh, we have shown segments and all segments are stored in memory so if you can see first segment stored at 0 to base address second segment second number have we actually given to this one so second segment stored at 0 d base address and third one stored at 0 
12. So this is actually a hexadecimal representation, 0x. And the length of first one 6, then 4, and here 7. So if someone wants to access a particular byte in segment, some data in segment, so let's say user want to access this element C. So user need to uh, specify two information: segment number and the offset. So user has specified that the access data stored at this address. So this address is having segment num number one, and this is the offset. So whenever this address is specified, first of all, base address of that segment is first. So this is the segment number. This segment table will be checked. So we are having segment one here. This is the base address. So this address will be first. Next thing, it will be checked that this offset must be between zero and the length of that segment. Like if a user is specifying invalid address like 1 and 10. So we can see here this segment is having length only 6 byte. So 10 given 10 in address is invalid. So in that case error will be generated. But here offset is less than this number and greater than 0. So it must be between 0 and limit of segment so it can be zero here because we are having our offset is starting from zero so uh, if this condition is satisfied in that case we will go for third step what is third step this third step will take this base address and offset will be added in this address so we are having base address 2 offset will be added it will give us 4 we will go to address 4 and we will fetch C. So the uh, process for resolving is address in segmentation. Base address will be fetched. Offset will be checked whether that offset is a valid offset or not. In case if that is an invalid offset, if that given offset is more than the length of that segment, so in that case a error will be generated. Otherwise, we will go for third step. Offset will be added in the base address, and that address will be accessed. Thank you very much for watching.